A difficult return to the championship for North Ants, outplayed with bat and ball by Worcestershire. Worcestershire travelled to Northampton looking to maintain their unbeaten record, while North Ants returned to four-day cricket after a month away with a number of personnel changes, Rossington, Keogh and Wakeley returning to the side. Northamptonshire lost Max Holden early to Joe Leach, spooning a catch to Brett Dolivera, but recovered to 47 for one before Josh Tung hurried up Ben Duckett to sky a catch through to the keeper. Alex Wakeley was resolute, striking several boundaries. Ed Barnard then had Rob Keogh well caught by Daryl Mitchell for three, before Richard Levy was eventually caught by Tom Kohler Cadmore after the ball was parried up by his slips partner from the bowling of Jack Shatry for 10. Northamptonshire 101 for four at lunch. Wakeley was dismissed upon the resumption LBW to Leach. And while Stephen Crook and Adam Rossington added 48 runs for the sixth wicket, Crook's dismissal LBW to Barnard triggered a collapse. Chantry among the wickets with Rossington caught by Nathan Lyon, while Rory Kleinveld was six and out caught by Tom Fell. Northants teetering on 161 for eight. Nathan Buck and Graham White led a rearguard action, both striking sixes and a number of boundaries as they resisted the Worcestershire attack. But with Buck falling to Cola Cadmore off the bowling of Leach, White soon followed, caught by Chantry off the bowling of Tongue for 47. Northamptonshire all out for 238 at tea. Worcestershire rollicked along after the break with a flurry of boundaries from Mitchell and Oliveira. By the time Dolivera fell, bowled by Buck, the openers had notched up 77 runs in just 15 overs. Fell was out next over, LBW to Kleinveld, and that instigated a more measured approach from the batsman. Mitchell bringing up his 50 as Worcestershire largely blocked their way through to stumps. North Ants have their lower order to thank for posting a score above 200, while Worcestershire will feel pleased with their day's work as they bowled the opposition out and consolidated to be 108 for two by stumps. North Ants will need to make early inroads on day two if they're to avoid a big first innings deficit.